Hey guys, what's up? Joe, morning coffee. Cool stuff. All right. In past videos, I already talked about um, audio, you know, pretty much what I do to clean up audio and all this stuff. Um, I have a link in the description so you guys can check it out. When I first started working with Paul, he has some overhead mics that he uses when he does his, like, his live shows. And we did like an experiment, like uh, we compared the overhead mics to a lavalier mic. And the lavalier mics is way better, right? Because it's more closer to uh, the audio source, the sound source, which is his mouth, right? So it's right by his chest area. Having the mic close to his mouth, obviously you get better results. I do encourage you guys to get a lavalier mic, you know, invest in that stuff. All right, that being said, if I was to right click on the audio here and we go up here to audio gain, you got all these options here. You got adjust gain, set gain, yada, yada, yada. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna mess with, not gonna explain what each one does. You guys do that on your own. I'm just gonna show you what I do uh, for myself that works for me. For the most part, I just mess with normalized peaks, right? So pretty much what this does, it kind of like sees like the whole track as a whole. It says what's the main normalized peak. In this case, you can see here, this area right here is touching the top. That's a peak, right? So it's going to see the main peak and it's going to like pretty much average out all the whole track according to this one peak, right? So in this case, if I had a peak that's say negative nine and I hit OK, so you can see this peak along with the rest of the audio is knocked down, right? In this case, it's one whole track. So what I'm gonna do is basically, um, so this is it's a fairly short video. It's kind of like the reason I wanted to make this guy. So I'm gonna go through this video. I'm gonna do my cuts, and my edits and other stuff. And then I'm gonna like pretty much uh, adjust the audio and I'm gonna show you what I do, right? I finished doing my editing and all that good stuff. And like, uh, as you can see, I have a bunch of cuts, right? So let's go up here to the track select backward tool. We got that guy. We can hold shift. That way it selects the single track, which is the audio track. Now we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to audio gain, and we're gonna hit normalize peaks to zero. Now, before I do that, I wanna show you something. Gonna bring on my task manager, right? Now, uh, the CPU is kinda busy because I'm, you know, filming myself right now, but uh, I wanna show you something. So, say if I wanna have the normalized peaks, we can hit zero, right? But it's gonna like select everything I have selected. It's gonna like pretty much treat this, everything that's selected as a whole clip. So, the cool thing about this is when you normalize a peak, it's gonna like pretty much adjust all the levels of uh, what you have here selected as a single clip. And it's gonna pretty much like either increase or decrease uh, the levels to have more of a consistent sound, right? So just for example, let's just say I select these three right here and I select these audio game and I normalize all peaks to zero. Pretty much it's gonna treat each, each individual clip as a zone and it's gonna max out each peak to zero. Obviously we don't want that. What we wanna do is pretty much right click Audio gain, we want to normalize max peak to zero. Hit OK. And you can see here what happened. Like this area seems to stay the same, but the ones over here, let me see if I can do that. That and the hit redo. So this is pretty much when it's all, each clip is maxed out to zero. Now this is normalized max peak, right? So I guess like the max peak of all the clips are selected. And then pretty much like the ones are kind of like, it kind of like adjusts the rest of the clips to be kind of a more of a consistent audio uh, level, right? If uh, there's like a peak, one of these tracks, whether say Paul coughs, he laughs, he screams, or he drops something, or he claps or something, then pretty much like uh, on that peak, Premiere Pro is going to normalize all the audio levels according to that peak, right? But the thing is, obviously, if he coughs, it's a loud spike, so he doesn't usually speak at that high level. So instead of like um, going to zero, Sometimes I normalize the max peak to like three or two, for the most part two, right? That way like, you know, that peak, it goes past zero and everything else underneath those waveforms gets normalized, gets pushed up a bit, right? But in this case, I'm gonna try two. But when I hit two, I just want you to have a look over here and see what happens. As you can see here, one of the CPU cores gets maxed out. Now this is a short project, right? But if I had a, like a longer project, it would have taken a little longer, right? So see how the CPU, it gets maxed out here. The thing is that like uh, certain files do not use multi-threads, right? A video does, right? Use the hyper-threads, but certain files say like images and audio, they only use one core of the CPU. It does not use all the threads, right? So that's something to keep in mind, right? So if you're doing something on your computer and like if you feel like it's taking a little while, but you notice only one core is being, is working, Working, most likely again because if you're working on images or on audio it doesn't use all the cores no there's no really multi-core use for those type of files right so just keep that in mind now if I zoom in here pretty much you can see 
all these clips got normalized to a max peak of uh, two ISO selected, right? For the most part, if you notice, like uh, on my track mixer here on the master area, I have a hard limiter. I usually set that to uh, negative four. So anytime there's a peak that reaches uh, negative four decibels, it gets cut off, right? Nothing, you don't hear anything past that. So let's see, I think here's a good example. You can see some peaks right here, right? So if you can keep a look, I hear my audio levels. As you can see here, pretty much it stops, right? Right before number three, negative three. Yeah, see, it gets cut off there, right? So pretty much like, that's uh, pretty much protect your hearing when you do this stuff. And that's another thing, actually. Be sure that uh, before you start working with your audio, make sure you go here, go to amplitude and compression, go to hard limiter, double click on it. And then pretty much uh, where it says maximum amplitude, set that to negative four pretty much like that way like if anybody um if you're working with audio where people say they cough they sneeze or there's a loud spike this will protect your hearing right that way like anything that gets past negative four it just gets cut off right uh do that for yourself be sure to do that before you start working with audio right i have to learn to do that as a as a habit anyways uh that's it for this video but i hope it helps so yeah <laughs> take care peace